Hi, today's video is going to show you 5 simple and robust ways to recover deleted messages on iPhone. For privacy reasons or just because you want to save some space, you may regularly delete your text messages, either delete an entire conversation with a just a swipe or delete certain messages in a conversation. Or you've configured your iPhone to delete the old messages after 30 days or a year in settings app. What if you accidentally delete one and how do you get it back? Say it contains a previous photo or an important attachment that you don't want to lose. This video is now for you, and let's go over how to recover deleted iPhone messages in different methods. The first method is to restore deleted messages on iPhone with iCloud Backup. Restoring them from iCloud Backup requires you to have a backup for your lost messages before deletion, and to erase your phone to its factory settings. Ok now, go to Settings app, tap General, Reset, Erase All Content and Settings. Once your phone is reset, it will display the Hello screen. Follow the on-screen instructions to set up your device. In the Apps and Data screen, choose Restore from iCloud Backup. Sign into your iCloud account and continue to choose the backup that contains the messages you lost. There you go. Wait the restore process to finish, and your messages should be restored to iPhone. The second method is to download the messages from iCloud account. But the messages in iCloud feature is not available in all regions or territories. You can check whether you have the option in iCloud settings, otherwise, this method is not for you to retrieve your deleted messages on the iPhone. To do this, open Settings app, tap your name, and then tap iCloud to access your iCloud account settings. Locate Messages option and make sure it's been turned on to back up the message conversation. Now, turn it off and tap Disable and Download Messages. Wait for a while to have your messages back. If they don't appear, turn on Messages and turn it off again in Settings app. Alright, the third method is to restore messages from iTunes backup to iPhone. So make sure you've created backups before you did the deletion. If not, skip to the method number 4. First, turn off Find My iPhone in Settings. Then open iTunes to restore the lost messages. Connect your iPhone to the computer, and once it's connected with iTunes, click Restore Backup. Choose which backup on your computer that you want to restore the deleted text messages. That's done, the restore process begin and your device turns off and turn back on with the texts recovered. Let's come to the method number 4, and we gonna use iPhone SMS recovery software, called iOS Data Recovery. You can get it from appgeeker.com. The application will help you restore deleted text messages from iTunes backup without overriding your iPhone. This is what makes it different from iCloud backup for its full restore. Well, go ahead to open iOS Data Recovery on the computer. From the left menu, click Recover from iTunes Backup File. Then choose one that contains the lost messages, and click Start button. Alright, here's your data in iTunes Backup. Now, you can preview every file right here. To recover deleted text messages from iPhone, click Messages on the left panel, then choose the text you want back. If you have any critical photos, documents, attachments and other information that has been deleted from the conversation, click Messages Attachments from the left panel and highlight the items you want. As a last step, you need to click Recover button to let the program recover them. See, your text messages along with the attachments are back now. You can check the conversation on your computer. The last method is to contact your phone carrier to see if it keeps a record of your text messages. Some carriers will save your text even if you delete it on your iPhone. So that's the ways to recover deleted texts from iPhone, iCloud Backup and iTunes Backup. Hope this video helps you bring back your important conversation. Please hit the like button, share it with your friends and leave your thought in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe to App Geeker channel. See you in the next video.